Christmas today is a feature of Thailand's capital city. The eruption of lights and glitter in Bangkok during December rivals the decorations of any major American or European city. The crowds thronging in the city's streets, sky bridges and sidewalks, taking selfies against the skyline illustrate that. And even if business and commerce drives the holiday, along with the celebration of Western-themed New Year's celebrations, it's all indicative of just how accepting and tolerant Thailand is of foreign ways and non-Buddhist religious influences. After all, the king is the protector of all religions in Thailand. The site of a more traditional Christmas, however, lies in a remote corner of the country where Thai Roman Catholics have gathered during Christmas time at one of their holiest shrines. In the small village of Songkhon, near the Mekong River, close to the Lao border, stands an almost unknown Catholic church that includes the remains of Thailand's seven Catholic martyrs. In a country where most of the population practices Buddhism, except for a sizable pocket of Muslims in the Deep South. Christianity, although accepted and tolerated, exists only at the margins of society. Cloaked in the uncertainties and lost memories of Thailand during World War II, the story of the Seven Martyrs is a unique chapter of Thai history. The so-called wax figures containing the ashes of the seven martyrs can be seen in the church itself. The surrounding grounds also contain sculptures and other monuments dedicated to their memory. During daylight, a serene but melancholy mood surrounds the church and its gardens and pathways. The story of the martyrs is a simple but tragic one. It took place on December 26, 1940. This was a time in which all Southeast Asia was being put under tremendous diplomatic and political pressure. First from British and French colonial regimes in Indochina, Burma, Malaya, and Singapore. Then from the invading Japanese who swept across most of the region. <laughs> กังวลว่าประเทศไทยไม่ใช่ประเทศที่เป็นคริสตศาสนาเหมือนกับทางยุโรปหรือทางอเมริกาซึ่งเป็นประเทศที่นับถือพุทธศาสนาเป็นเป
that led the effort to evangelize the region during the latter half of the 17th century. By 1688, the fear of rising French influence, along with an attempt by the French to convert Siam to Catholicism, caused a backlash. That same year, a nationalist revolt, the so-called Siamese Revolution of 1688, ousted the French and the Catholic Church. Official contacts with the West did not resume until the 19th century. Britain established a trade and diplomatic embassy in 1826 and the United States in 1833. The French did not return officially until the reign of King Bongut in 1856. It was against this backdrop that the tragedy of the Seven Martyrs would play out. On December 16, 1940, police executed Songkhon's catechist, a teacher of Catholic doctrine and more broadly, the principles of Christian faith and morality. Through Philip C. Fong, who is the teacher of the teacher, the teacher of the teacher is not a teacher, the teacher of the teacher is a teacher who 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 is a teacher. Through Philip C. Fong, นะก็เป็นพุทธิติดตามพระสงฆ์วิชนาดีและท่านเองก็เป็นคนที่เข้มแข็งนะมีความเชื่อที่เข้มแข็งมากนะท่านเองถูกฆ่าตายก่อนน
particularly those along the border with French Indochina, might sympathize with or even side with France. In the north and in Bangkok, therefore, the Thai government moved to restrict Catholic activities. สองคนก็เป็นที่หนึ่งที่ได้รับการเกียรติเรียนศาสนานะครับหลายคนถูกเข้าคุกน่าจะถูกฆ่าต่างๆนานาหลายคนก็กลัวแต่ทั้งเจ็ดคนเนี่ยไม่กลัว Only in Songkhon did anti-Catholic feelings rise to the level that Catholic practitioners were killed. In fact, in the Catholic diocese of Ratchaburi, which was in the far west of Thailand and whose priests were Italian, not French, the church avoided most of the limitations imposed on its diocese in the northeast and Bangkok. These events have begun to disappear from living memories, and the Thailand of today is a different place. Its long-cherished traditions and history of spiritual tolerance are firmly in place. A variety of religions, sects, and spiritually based beliefs exist throughout the country, and they have their own traditions and history. The story of the Roman Catholic martyrs is but one example among many others. <laughs>